This program is a supplement to Intermediate Maintenance Manual A1-F404A-MMI-210. That manual covers the installation of F404 afterburner pilot spray bars and manifolds. This program is not meant to supersede or be considered as a substitute for that publication. Six pilot spray bars in an F404 engine spray fuel into the flame holder for afterburner ignition. The upper and lower pilot manifolds provide fuel for the pilot spray bars. There are five major aspects to the correct installation of these parts. First, lubricate the nuts before installing them. Second, leave the nuts slightly loose during initial installation. This will permit proper alignment of mating hardware. Third, do not subject the parts to any stress. Fourth, torque the nuts according to the sequence shown in this program. Fifth, double torque the manifold to manifold and manifold to spray bar coupling nuts. The process of double torquing will be explained later. Begin by installing the circulating fuel tube onto the main afterburner fuel manifolds. First, apply oil to the threads of the coupling nut. Then, hand tighten it. Next, install a pilot spray bar in the first of these six bosses on the afterburner case. The FWD marked on the spray bar faces the forward part of the engine. Make sure the fuel discharge tube does not hang up on the edges of the spray bar hole in the flame holder. A hang up could distort the tip of the tube. Next, secure the spray bar mounting flange to the afterburner case. Tighten the lock nuts only enough to make the flange flush with the case while still allowing some spray bar movement. When this action is completed, begin installing the next spray bar. After all spray bars are in place, install the upper and lower pilot manifolds onto the afterburner case. First, place the upper manifold in its correct position on the case, sliding it onto its only stud. Slip the manifold into the clamps, aligning the wear strips with the clamps. Then leave the lock nuts loose enough to prevent stress. Repeat this process for the lower pilot manifold. After the lower pilot manifold is installed, connect each spray bar to the manifolds. First, oil the threads of the coupling nut. Then hand tighten the nut, leaving it loose enough to prevent stress. After the spray bars and manifolds are joined together, connect the upper and lower pilot manifolds. First, oil the threads of the coupling nut, then hand tighten it. Afterwards, all nuts are torqued or double torqued. Only two torque settings are required. Lock nuts are torqued to 38 to 45 pound inches. Coupling nuts are torqued to 135 to 150 pound inches. This is done according to the following sequence and procedure. First, get a torque wrench. Although dial types are used in this program, click type torque wrenches are acceptable. Begin with the coupling nut that joins the circulating fuel tube to the main afterburner fuel manifold. Torque the nut to 135 to 150 pound inches. With an inspector present, go on to double torque the coupling nut that connects the two pilot manifolds. First, torque the nut to 135 to 150 pound inches. Loosen it a half turn. Get the oil again. Oil the threads in the coupling nut through the stem hole.
then retorque the nut to 135 to 150 pound inches. Afterwards, mark the nut with a Moxalot pen to indicate it has been inspected. Next, torque to 38 to 45 pound inches the lock nuts that connect the spray bars to the afterburner case. Afterwards, move on to the lock nuts and clamps that connect the manifolds to the case. Make sure the wear strips are still aligned with the clamps. Then torque the lock nuts to 38 to 45 pound inches. Finally, double torque the coupling nuts that connect the spray bars to the manifolds, again with an inspector present. First, torque the nuts to 135 to 150 pound inches. Then loosen them a half turn. Following this, oil the threads of the coupling nuts through the stem holes. Then retorque the nuts to 135 to 150 pound inches. The installation is complete when the last coupling nut connecting a spray bar and a manifold is double torqued. Before closing though, let's look once more at four major aspects of the installation. Always lubricate the nuts prior to installation. Then leave them slightly loose during initial installation. The looseness helps allow proper alignment of mating hardware without causing stress on the parts. Afterwards, torque the nuts according to the sequence shown in this program. As part of this, double torque the coupling nuts that join together the manifolds, as well as the manifolds and spray bars. First, torque the coupling nuts. Afterwards, loosen them a half turn. Apply oil to the threads through the stem holes. Then torque the nuts once again. This concludes the program. When performing the procedures shown here, always refer to Intermediate Maintenance Manual A1-F404A-MMI-210.